terms of standings, they are complete opposites. And you can really tell the focus use of Lily's mobility, not to mention the, the combo potential of Lily, but... Okay. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I would say... A, a, okay, you, you go ahead. You know, I, I this might be headcanon, but like, you know, maybe this is Dojin's way of saying this is for you, Jules. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be because we really had... We, we we needed a, a gin in the playoffs, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. Jules uh, was not able to to join us. So here comes Dojin, pro probably uh, yeah, giving me a, a salute to his, his old comrade, his friend Jules from from Smart Omega. And here comes Coffee, of course, with um, he hasn't brought out his Steve yet. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, he's still playing with his uh, Leroy which has of course proven to be very effective against against um vermilion earlier exactly and again maybe he doesn't really need to bring out his steve yet but dojin does have a bit of a full order here as jin not the best matchup for um lira here but it doesn't matter as coffee prince did commit to that duck and dojin is gonna send him to the second floor and yeah dojin did catch him ducking Went for the mix-up, a little RK. First hit, but finds, second hit, finds its target. And Coffee Prince going for a contest on that plus three. And Dojin just uh, right out the gate knew that. A big sidestep on the God Kick here. Coffee Prince though, couldn't get any additional damage. Oh, oh no. Oh, the reversal. <laughs> Coffee Prince looking so good, but Dojin with... That beautiful and well played top kick will deny Coffee Prince of the additional damage of a four going for the Oki, okay, going for it again. The LLRK won't hit, but Dojin does have rage. Coffee Prince has to be careful. Oh, but the stop sign will stop Dojin in his tracks. And I mean, those are two counter hits in a row. Coffee Prince really putting, giving this his all. Dojin putting Coffee Prince. I love that adjustment coming from him, but the spring kick will catch him. And he's like, you know what? I'll return the favor. I can do that too. And now Dojin puts himself against the wall, but the maximum punish on that L sweep. Round of course, that power kick to launch Coffee Prince into that wall combo to close out the third round gives Dojin that lead that he needs. And he is at an advantage. Savage Sword to close that combo. Dojin, I love this composure from him. You know, we've mentioned this so many times, but Dojin really breathed a, a unique style to all the characters he plays. But yeah, we have seen Jules uh, very impressive Jin Kazam. Especially in long sets like this, because Dojin can just keep pulling out every single character in the roster. As you can see, uh, if you would know that he's trying to shy away from me, right, for some reason. Uh, I think he, he already expressed his his side in this matter. But yeah, I think Jin, his, especially Dojin skin, is, is a good pick against against Alino. And on paper, it doesn't seem like it would be the case. But again, Dojin with his very unique rhythm and very uh, unique approach to the character is definitely proven to be problematic for Coffee Prince. And then that is what Dojin is using in this matchup. Um, okay. Coffee Prince chose to stick with Leroy, changing the, the stage to a wallless one. The Arctic Snowfall, a very wide stage. Indeed. Coffee Prince looks like he prefers iced coffee right now. Dojin will have to beat, them, beat it up for himself. A big whiff on that and another stop sign to connect. One good duck there from Coffee. Went into the transition, but went out of... Oh my god! And second hit. So far, Dojin still hanging on to this one. He is just an inch away from Rage. And Coffee Prince does not want to put him there. And these exchanges, big up back to... Or rather, up forward too by Dojin. Coffee Prince is just a slither away. And again, the Wild Rising 4 will take it. Like right after that poke, that was instantly a, uh, a forced mix. Oh my god! Second round. Again. <laughs> oh, he really loves to use that uh, big red machine very early. Dojin already lost half of his health. And this could be the other half if Coffee Prince lands the correct combo. 
perfect. Seven golden letters taking out the second round. Will Coffee Prince be able to close it out to an NRB or will Dojin make a comeback? Good punish Ooh. there to a Can Can. So much awareness from both these players. And again, the maximum damage. Dojin really playing by a, you know, at the most efficient right now. Although he has lost two rounds in a row, that counter hit will clip Coffee Prince. And Coffee Prince with a smart duck there. Oh. And good punish from Dojin. Coffee Prince in the red. What is Dojin going to do? 1 3. Round 4. Fight. Dojin making Coffee Prince uh, respect all these bus frames. And Coffee Prince has to be a bit more careful. I mean, stopping. He stopped that momentum that Coffee Prince has been has been riding on those first two first two rounds. Now Coffee Prince needs to rebuild that. Rebuild indeed. It's Coffee Prince is chipping away at Dojin here. Dojin with a beautiful duck, but unfortunately for him, no punish. But Kane is there just to taunt Dojin, but Dojin is unscathed. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> right after the marching band, um, you know he he gambles being you know instead of just being hit by a low, instead of guessing, he would go for a hop. Honestly, I think that was a pretty smart move for Dojin. It was. I guess zero, maybe even. Actually, it wouldn't surprise me if he brought out the Falcom Ram. Probably, yeah. He it is more. Uh, Okay, there you go. Went for the uh, the simpler character, the more mobile, the more agile. Kazumi, the Magic Four. Okay, let's see how this would fare against. I mean, AK used Kazumi earlier, right? So, so why not? Yep. And this has been their go-to character for this for this I mean, tournament. She is quite a stable character, you know, and uh, as we've mentioned, that she's very complete, just lacking in the damage department when it comes to combos, but in the hands of Dojin, I don't think he might go for as many combos as you'd think. Yeah, as I think, we what, think. what he's counting on is, yes, uh, the damage isn't that much, but if he keeps on landing them, it would pile up. As long as I can land it, it don't matter. Right? Other than that, then what his plan is, I'm pretty sure he has something. Right now, just very compact play from both of these athletes. Dojin so far not really landing anything of consequence. Coffee Prince as well. Coffee Prince looking quite healthy actually. Did you see that that punish to, to the down for with nothing of uh, an inch short. Round two. Needs Coffee to go Prince. In. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee Prince needs to go in on Dojin as well, but Dojin has proven to be a tough cookie to crack, but a back two like that will break anything. Oh! Dropping the combo. Still, Coffee Prince in the, with the life advantage. You know, he is uh, he is getting more mileage in this neutral game. So he is winning the poking game against Dojin. Except for that one. Oh, nice! Uh-oh. Oh, and a low parry by Dojin. Staying alive for just maybe a few more seconds. He does have the respawn available just to try and maximize all his damage. That is going to be unscaled. Down three. What's for breakfast? How sweet! Uh, well, that was a necessary risk. And, um, well, that could have been a, an, a Hail Mary play coming from Dojin. Unfortunately, Coffee Prince was there to block it. Hail Mary indeed. As Coffee Prince built momentum, Dojin has yet to crack this and rather scale the castle. Dojin, not looking too great right now as Coffee Prince still poking away. And he is really, you know, dominating the poking game. Okay, nice bait from Dojin. But there's the week of three to a combo, closing it out, an NRB win from Coffee Prince. Uh, seems like the, the Kazumi pick didn't work as... Yeah, especially in a game where Leroy just dominates the neutral, you know, down 3-2, he has a snake or he has a hell sweep, he has a snake edge from stance, he has orbital, he has the, one of the best DF1s in the game, but this is something <laughs> that we haven't seen from Dojin yet, the signature, martial law. Again, if, if it's gonna be a, a poking game, then why not call martial law, right? Exactly. Upon the head of coffee Prince and Dojin, we've seen him get very tricky with law as well. His law has been 
an absolute terror to play against. Coffee Prince really does have a tall order um, against Dojin, but if he does manage to close this out, then that could be, again, the dream killer Coffee Prince coming out. Again, let me... Uh, he needs to watch out for a number of moves coming from Martial Law, especially the, the Hammer of the Gods. That is one of Dojin's favorites. Fight. Dojin's favorite indeed. And right now, Dojin just laying on the pressure here. Instant running three, the down back three as well. Down four. Every low in the arsenal of Law is getting thrown out. Is he going to go for a Dragon Tail? No, he goes for a long range slide, but Coffee Prince awareness on that. Going for the hard spike to end the combo. Look at that. He, Coffee Prince was ready to punish that slide. And now he is at an advantage again. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Good Beautiful from punish. Dojin. So staying alive, Ron. He does have rage, but uh-oh. Oh no, he's just slither away. Oh! Oh! Okay. That was big risk. Big, big energy there. Yeah, it was. And even if it connected, he, he didn't need a, a combo. He really didn't. I honestly was expecting for the DSS stance, but again, Dojin, knowing him, he's not afraid to uh, he's not afraid to try new things. He was probably counting on Coffee, like reacting after the rising four and get hit by the somersault. Beautiful down forward two there by Dojin, taking Coffee Prince close to the wall here. Again, this is not somewhere where you want to be against Dojin, and that one inch punch is gonna nail Ooh. Coffee Prince. Round three. Fight. Big punish on that as well. 13th frame. Oh, beautiful breakaway coffee prince staying alive onto this one. Does not want to give any momentum to to Dojin. He knows what he can do with it and he's very wary of it. Look at that rising. Oh, down four to a well rising. No punish and no escape from coffee prince. Oh, and Dojin going for the mix there. Taking coffee prince's shins for breakfast. Oh, Coffee Prince getting hit by that one three string. I don't think that's actually NC on normal hit. Fight. Uh, uh, no, I don't think it is. I think it can still block the, the second one. But there you go again, the, the hammer of the god. Exactly, the dragon hammer here. Oh, bit of a side switch here. Doge in a bit of trouble as well, getting hit by the back there. was like, hey, you know what? I have a slide. And he has a wall spam. Easily tied up. 2-2 by Doge. Such positions let us. I mean... 2-2. Two, two. He, he lives with that mentality. Our final uh, final match in this set. 2-2, two, two, Coffee Prince versus Dojin. And Coffee Prince chooses to stick with Leroy. And again, Iced Coffee is here in Arctic Snowfall. And this is the second 2-2 two, two in a row for the day. We did see it between Maru and uh, Nature Lover. And now we see it between Dojin versus the Emperor Coffee Prince. And that is true. And uh, we really have to... I mean, it's, it's a little favorable for Coffee Prince to choose the last stage because this is where he's comfortable in. I mean, he doesn't need walls to, to, to do damage with those combos. Definitely does it. But Law as well, if you uh, factor in the DSS, he does do a million damage with his uh, Legend Kick as well. And in the neutral, as long as that DSS is unlocked for Dojin, Coffee Prince is going to have a bit of trouble, uh, especially with the parries, if he, try, if he gets a little too trigger happy with that. And like I said, a big counter in his ear, Dojin will draw first blood. The combo from Dojin. Oh, okay. Quite late for the punish from Coffee Prince. He could have gotten more from that, but here comes Dojin with a somersault block. What is he going to do next? Attempting, fading for a slide. Still going for it. Coffee Prince, though, at the very edge of the world. Faded that out with a Magic 4. Will do minimal damage to Dojin. Dojin has to take that mix up from behind. He does have red here. Has to be careful against Coffee. Oh, he pressed. Fated. Wow. He was running circles around Dojin. Again, Coffee Prince, the denier of dreams, rearing its head here. Dojin has to be very, very careful and be very tactical with his approach because it doesn't look like Coffee Prince is going to budge. Look at that. He really had to go for the slide because of the distance. He can't go for a wild rising. It, it won't hit. Dojin getting pummeled right now. Coffee Prince getting hit by beautiful whiff punish with the 3 plus 4-4 four, four, though. Uh-oh, from behind again. 
Good punish from Dojin. Oh my goodness! Offy friend, you absolute madman! Dojin in hot water here. What is he going to do? He needs to throw some miraculous play in order to turn the tables around on Coffee Prince. Coffee Prince, he is banging on the door of Dojin, and Dojin only has half health. Another back two and another successful parry by Coffee Prince. Dojin is in the red. Meanwhile, Coffee oh. Prince is unscathed. Oh, but finally, a wild rising two by Dojin. He does have the bonus damage from Rage. Can he finish this off? No. Instead, he goes for the Oki. Is this going to be another block side? We saw the fuzzy. Oh, a oh no. You will. <laughs> another NRB win.